Hey weirdos, I came across something today as I was preparing to upload another episode, something that I recorded a little over two years ago, on April 5th, 2022. I'll play it for you here in just a moment, but it really kind of got me choked up because I still feel this way about all of you, about how important you are to me and the changes that have been made in my life thanks to you. It's also kind of interesting that what I recorded was pretty much saying goodbye to radio, possibly forever. And yet here I am now doing the Weird Darkness radio show on several affiliates around the, <laughs> around the nation. But I'm not working for a radio station anymore. It's, it's a little bit, it's a different animal. But uh, as I was re-listening to this today, I just wanted to share it with you because I still feel the same way. I am still so thankful for what you guys have done for me. So uh, just keep in mind, this was recorded two years ago. Um, I'm My back is fine <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm not taking days off. Uh, I just want to, I just want you to hear my heart from two years ago when I recorded this. Hey weirdos, I just wanted to let you know why you're not seeing an episode from me today. First, I threw my back out over the weekend. It's extremely painful to stand or sit in a chair, so I'm not able to get in front of the computer long enough to do any voice work or producing. I'm on Biofreeze, Ibuprofen, and Muscle Relaxers, so hopefully it won't be very long before I'm back doing what I do. But the main reason that I am not posting something today is because of my busy schedule. This, this entire week is one of the most important weeks in my life, literally life-changing, and I want to be sure that it goes smoothly for everyone involved. You see, this Friday is the last day that I'll be employed at my real job, and the podcast and my voice acting will be my full-time job. I could not have imagined that this was a possibility two years ago, but you, my weirdo family of listeners, have made this happen. Heck, you forced this to happen. I simply do not have time to do it all. I, I can't thank you enough for forcing me through this next door in my life. And, th and this qualifies even more as a life-changing event because this will be the first time in over 32 years that I won't be employed by a radio station somewhere. Friday afternoon, I'm walking away from something that has been a constant in my life for over three decades. I love radio, I always have, and I likely always will. The fond memories far outweigh the negative ones. I loved doing my live radio show and connecting with listeners. I loved creating advertisements for our advertising clients, being as creative as I wanted to be in that production room. At first, splicing reel-to-reel -reel recordings with razor and tape, recording to carts that looked like eight-track tapes. A ask your grandparents, they'll know what I'm referring to. Playing CDs according to what the program director wanted me to play, and then, after powering down the AM transmitter at night, playing whatever the heck I wanted because the signal didn't travel much outside the radio station parking lot anyway. It's been both my career and creative outlet, a combination that is not a reality for most people in the workforce, and I know that I was blessed because of that. I didn't make a lot of money, but I loved what I did, and I, I just couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. But here we are, 32 years later, three days away from my walking away from all of that, possibly forever. And that idea is a scary and even stressful thought. But I also know that it's only possible because God is opening a door to something else, something bigger, and he used you to make that happen. Now, I won't be just talking to a few hundred or thousand listeners in Kansas City or Rockford, Illinois or Beloit, Wisconsin or even Chicago. I'll be talking to tens of thousands and still growing. I won't be creating commercials for radio advertisers. I'll be creating them for sponsors of my podcast, people who want to support not a radio station, but me. They want to reach out not to a radio station's listeners, but my personal listeners. Instead of rebelling after the AM transmitter was switched to low power so I could play whatever I want because nobody was listening anyway, 
I'll be telling whatever stories I want to, knowing there's always someone listening. And I'll still be in that blessed situation of doing what I love and paying the bills at the same time. So the rest of this week, if I'm a bit absent, please forgive. I'll be helping to train my replacement, reorganizing and editing online documents to make it easier for that person to step into my position. I'm doing what I can to leave that radio station better than when I started there 10 years ago, and I hope I'm leaving radio broadcasting in general better than when I started 32 years ago. To Wolfman Jack, Phil J, Casey Kasem, The Grease Man, and so many others, even Dr. Johnny Fever, you have been such a powerful and positive influence on my life. I cannot thank you enough. I can only hope that while I'm leaving radio broadcasting, that I can keep your energy and inspiration with me as I entertain those who are listening to me now in a new medium, the 21st century version of radio, this newfangled thing called podcasting. I'll be back with new episodes as soon as I can, weirdos. Thanks. Well, there you go. Two years ago, a little over two years ago, actually, I recorded that. I should probably have added Art Bell as one of those radio personalities. Who knew he'd be such a huge influence on me, especially with what I'm doing now. God bless weirdos, and I'll see you in the next Weird Darkness episode.